What's good everybody, it's day 3 of my gym split and right about now we're going to be taking you through legs the day, yes legs the day that everybody tries to skip but PMG don't skip legs out here okay and the first thing I do is I'm I've added a 5x5 to my leg day, so my new gym split and I was just trying to gauge what my 5x5 was and you just saw me do uh, 60kg 135 it was way too easy for me so I just counted it as a warm up and then carried on to move the weight up I ended up moving the weight up to um, 80kg and doing, I must do my five by five on that because it was more of a uh, more more of a struggle for me. Um, and it's my first time doing it because normally I do high reps when it comes to um, to front squats. I normally just do high reps and normally high sets as well. Uh, but I decided to stick with the five by five. And you just saw the first set, uh, and you see it went through quite comfortable. And it got to the, the fifth set, and it felt it still felt like I could push myself more. So I ended up putting on an extra um, 10 kg on top of that. So it went up to 90 kg for the front squats, which I'll probably be doing from next week because the 80 kg was like just moderate, it was quite fine. Um, whereas I had still had energy left, and my rest periods for these, same with my other days, was like a minute and a half really. That's the kind of the time frame I'm trying to I sort of go with, and. Yeah, I can say that. I did feel nice. Like the very next day, my legs were sore as fuck. And next up is um, lunges. I personally think lunges are harder than squats, back or front, because lunges are the ones that kill me the most. Like squats are very, like very good, like one of the best exercises. But for me, lunges are like really underrated. Because since doing lunges, I've seen more like kind of separation in my legs. Also, I've seen more like just strength. I've seen it get more blocky, really. And all I can say is lunges are a killer. So if you don't do lunges, make sure you put them into your workout because they are really good. And what I do with these, I do four sets of 12 usually. And so it's like six each leg. But it's really, really, a really good exercise for your legs. I can't stress them enough, they're really good. Okay, after that, it's leg extensions. And to be honest, after squats and lunges, those are like my two big movements for um, for legs. So to be honest, anything after that point, it varies. Because sometimes I do leg press, sometimes I do leg curl, sometimes I do leg extensions. Today, because I was just so I was just so sore, I did um, my leg extensions. So you can see on screen. Normally, do the same sort of thing, four sets of twelve, and usually try and progress with them rather than sticking to the same weight. Okay, and I also wanted to do my leg raises in here. So I can do them. I didn't do them at the end again, purely because when it comes to um, leg day as well, if my legs get really tight, I can't do leg raises properly because I can't stretch my leg out properly. As you can see on screen, my legs are kind of bent purely because my legs felt a bit more tighter because obviously doing all the leg exercises really. So I thought I'd just slip it in the middle again. And yeah, I do varied leg raises this time. So I'll go to the side, the middle and the other side purely to kind of hit, get more of the obliques in as well as the lower abs. So it's like really hitting your core from different angles okay after that I go on to calf raises and do this machine I've seen people do this machine like differently like some people tend to use it like it's a leg press machine just like bend the whole leg and just push it as if like it's leg press whereas I prefer to like just put my feet on it and kind of like do that tilting thing like as you can see on screen because it's really um, works your leg a lot more it's like fast twitch muscles and it's because it's got a short range of motion you have to really like do it and pause at the top because pausing at the top is the most important thing because it really builds the muscle and it really strains it a lot more. Like if I didn't pause at the top, trust me, it wouldn't be hurting as much. And I normally go for at least 20 reps and do four sets of that and usually progressing as well. I normally start around three quarters down the stack and then at the very last two sets, I'll be doing them like with the whole stack as you'll see on screen right now. And all I can say is make sure you pause at the top. Some people can just like, even the ones that do it with the right form, they don't pause at the top and that's where you're taking away most of the effects of the movement. Like you really need to. But yeah, that's more or less my leg day at the moment. Sometimes as leg presses and sometimes other things, but those are the main ones I kind of do at the moment. And here you go, is my little flexion update. I didn't do, I didn't film the legs in the gym um, locker room purely because it was busy, it was full. I didn't want to bring my legs out. But yeah, I did it at home. As you can see, you can't see crazy definition, but you can see some. And my legs aren't like full on chicken. There are, there is some muscle there, and you can see a little bit of separation. Hopefully, when we start um, kind of cutting down, which should be January first, but we'll talk more about that later. You'll see more uh, gains in definition all over my physique. But yeah. Okay, I hope you like the uh, leg day um, split. Burning my legs out, man. But yeah, if you liked it, leave a big nice thumbs up. And yeah, here's my post um, workout uh, protein shake. Uh, link will be on the screen if you want to help out the channel and use our referral link if you ever um, buy something from my protein. And yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe, and we out. Fuck being on some chill shit. We go zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick.